As the number of infections rise, we are also seeing more Valley children testing positive. Channel 5's Monica De Anda spoke to one pediatrician about how her patients are battling this virus. We have to get out of this misconception that COVID only affects the elderly. Lynette Linsanen is an infectious disease pediatrician at different hospitals across the valley. Right now, she's caring for COVID-19 patients, babies as little as a week old, to teens who are almost adults. Linsanen's noticed that children are experiencing different symptoms depending on their age. The younger children present with typical upper respiratory infection symptoms, flu-like symptoms, okay? So they may have a little bit of a fever, um, some cough, runny nose, they're fussy. Um, I've had some younger infants present with rashes, you know, that you just, you know, you cannot really say what kind of rash this is. Lynn Sannon says teens tend to have more fevers, dry coughs, body aches, and loss of smell or taste. Their symptoms more closely mirror those seen in adults. And although she's seeing more patients with COVID-19, many have mild symptoms and don't require hospitalization. I want to say maybe of all the ICU beds, probably about 15% uh, would be occupied by children or um, adolescents. The rest are mostly adults. Lynn Sannon's also noticing other organ systems in children are being affected. She knows families are tired of being home, but taking your kids to the mall, beach, or grocery store is riskier. You can pick it up anywhere. And also playing a major role, family dynamics. When you have uh, people who are sick and then they're visiting their tios and tias and abuelas and abuelas and, you know, everybody's congregating. And then you have three generations of people who have COVID. So and we've seen that. The mother the grandmother, and then the baby all have COVID. Lynn Sannon says most kids are getting infected at home. And with a lack of testing and the time it takes to get results back, they treat everyone who's been exposed as if they're COVID-19 positive. If you have a sick patient, an adult patient in that household with COVID, and you pretty much already know what your child has. So it's more of like a diagnosis based on the epidemiology in that household. Lynn Sannon says if your child only has mild symptoms, Call your pediatrician first, but if your child is admitted to the hospital, they are allowed to have one person stay with them. That person then must stay at the hospital in their own designated space until the child is released. And with the growing number of infections in children and adults, Lynn Sannon is urging everyone to change their mindset now. Every time you step out of your house, you have to treat everyone you see outside your household as if they already have COVID. Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.